Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to another Ask Peter video and in this video we're going to be discussing the different programming jobs in a um, in a video game company. Now you must note that I've only been at Ubisoft for a month and so I haven't been around every single department yet, right? I work with a lot, I worked with a, a few people so far. Um, well, I should say a lot. I don't know. But with a few people um, so far, and uh, but I haven't touched every single department yet. But so a lot of the knowledge from this video is not exactly directed towards what exactly goes on at Ubisoft. It's sort of a general overview of what my knowledge of what it was before I even entered. And so if there's anything that I've learned since I've been there, then I'll let you know as long as it's not quote-unquote confidential, but uh, for the most part, it's just going to be a brief overview of what each of these uh, jobs entail, right? Uh, so anyways, in the background, you'll see a gameplay video that's of Call of Duty Ghost. It's really old gameplay. Uh, it's from when I actually had the Xbox One a year ago. Uh, but I don't really have any other gameplay videos and I don't think you guys really want to look at a screen with nothing with just me talking and nothing going on. Uh, so you might have seen this gameplay before. It was in one of my update videos in the past. Uh, but I decided to uh, put it up again. And I'm going to be getting another Xbox One uh, in a week or so. So uh, there will be more gameplay videos in my updates from now on. Um, so anyways, let's get started. I just made a really short list of different things, of uh, different areas. So anyways, first we have the tools programmer, and the tools programmer, uh, I'm a tools programmer at Ubisoft right now, and basically we just design tools to make everybody's lives easier. So anything we can do to help any area, whether it's a programmer, a level designer, graphics artist, um, anything any anything that we can do to speed up the process to to make the uh, to make everybody's lives easier we take care of that and so a few people ask me what language I use um, I use C sharp uh, uh, that is the main language for um, when you're doing tools development C sharp and the uh, like one forms WPF all, all that stuff is really it really helps it makes life easier with tools development uh, so next we have a gameplay programmer and the gameplay programmer is probably it's probably the most attractive job for people who are trying to get in the video game industry mainly because um, you program the, the you're working on a section of the gameplay itself which is um, which is really exciting right and so um, a lot of people really aspire to be gameplay programmers, and that's one thing that I wanted. To, I was, was aspiring to be as well, but I might just stick with tools programming because I like it a lot, and it's very satisfying. Because because whenever you make a tool, you get instant feedback, right? Like you get to make a tool for somebody and you get to know whether they love it, if they hate it, yada yada, yada and it's really rewarding. Um, that way, but whenever you're a gameplay programmer, you don't really get the feedback until the game is actually released to the general pu public. So if you're working on a game that takes two to five years or something, uh, then like you don't really get much feedback. You don't really get real feedback until the consumers actually get it. Uh, another thing about uh, being a gameplay programmer is because it is uh, because it's pretty popular, then it. Um, there, there are a, a, a lot of jobs available for it, but it is a more competitive market, and also the pay isn't as high as other jobs from what I've researched. Um, but it, it's still, it's still good. It's still a good pay, just not as high as other areas which aren't as popular. Anyways, next we have the engine programmer. So the engine programmer works on the engine itself. Pretty self-explanatory. Then you have a generalist programmer, and a generalist programmer is a programmer which is kind of like a, like a, like a, basically he's the guy that basically helps with every, everything. So uh, he has, he or she has a wide, should have a wide skill set um, in programming, so any area that really needs assistance, the generalist programmer can sort of assist with that. 
Then we have uh, we have graphics programmers. Graphics programmers work on, of course, graphics, uh, 3D graphics. Might work on shaders, yada yada. And then we have the animation programmer, which um, works on the actual animation um, itself. Uh, so that's basically it, and then we uh, that's basically it for the programmers. Like there are depending on companies, they might have additional programmers here and there, but these are just the main the main areas, the main ones. And then also we have leads, and we have technical leads. Sometimes we have architects and stuff like that. So it's sort of like as you grow in the company, these are the positions that you may achieve um, later on down the line. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I hope I answered your questions. I know it was very brief, but that's it. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment below. So thanks and bye for now.